So it simply says that we are given two arrays, array one and array two. Array two is having distinct elements, and also every element of array two is inside array one. Now, what we have to do is we have to bring out the resultant array, the final array, which should contain all the elements of array one. But the condition is the elements of array two gives us the ordering of the elements of array one, which means two should come first, one next, four next, three next, nine next, and then six next. Two came first, one next, four next, three next, nine next, and six next. Now, for sure, as I told, all the elements of array one should come in the final array answer or the output array. So, whatsoever is remaining should come in the sorted order. Now, one very, very, very basic thing which you could realize is, okay, Aryan, I will iterate on the array two just to build the answer array, but I should be knowing one thing, which is the how many twos are available in my array one, so that I can copy these my number of twos. Then you will ask, Aryan, how many ones are available in array one? How many fours are available in array one? How many threes are available in array one? Nine, six. And then so on and so forth. Now, when I know, so okay, frequency of a number, whenever we have to find the frequency, we know one thing for sure, we can simply use an unordered map, right? Unordered map. So I, I realize I can use an unordered map. But then, ultimately in the very end, my unordered map will again have, let's say map of, map of 7 will say frequency of 1, map of 90 will say frequency of 1. But whatsoever will ultimately remain in the map having a non-zero frequency, I have to put them in the sorted order. Again, it could have been possible that my 7 is occurring two times. So I have to take a 7, 7 and then 19. But everything should be in the sorted order in the remaining map. So one thing we realize, okay, in the very end, if I take my unordered map, for in 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 respect to keys, I have to sort the entire unordered map, and then I should put out all the keys with the corresponding frequency. As in, okay, if the frequency is three, so put that key three times. So instead, can't we even like can't we just only take a map itself? It will it will do both the jobs. It will be as a hash map also, and will also contain the keys in the sorted order, which can ultimately in the end help me to put all these elements. That's what I will simply do. I have my array one, I have my array two, I will firstly make a un, sorry, map, simple map, not an unordered map. So I made an unordered map, I got a frequency of two as three, frequency of one, frequency of four, frequency of three, frequency of nine, frequency of six, and frequency of seven and 19 also. But everything is in a ordered, ordered, like ordered order, ordered order. So what I did, okay, I iterated on two. All the tools which I have, I will put again. I know I have three tools, so I will put three tools here. Then I will go to the one. I will I know the frequency one, so I will put one of the ones here. Okay, I go to four. Next element four. I'll I get the frequency. Okay, I will put one four. Okay, I go to three. Next is three. I get the frequency. I will put two threes. I'll put two threes. Then I go to nine. I put one nine. I go to six. I put one six. Now, again my hash map will contain all these frequencies which have now turned to zero now turn to zero because i have exhausted them so i will keep on reducing the frequency also but my hash map will still contain some non-zero frequencies i will iterate on my hash map in the order that okay whatsoever key you get first which has a non-zero or frequency more than zero please make sure to put them okay how many number of times they are occurring so here i put seven my number seven and 19 that's it so what how we'll code it up simply we take a like we took a map you can also sort array it's totally up to you we took the map then we firstly made our map by grabbing the frequency of all the elements then i went on the array 2 for all the frequency okay an array 2 for that corresponding element for example 2 in this case if you remember 2 in this case it was occurring three times so this while loop will run three times in the very beginning, frequency is 3, next time frequency is 2, next time frequency is 1. Next time the frequency will be 0. Okay. So, we know that uh, I, I, okay, I will simply go. Now, uh, this will make sure that we are done with the element, with the array to elements. But still, I will have 
elements remaining in my frequency which have a non zero value whose frequency is more than zero for them again how many times they are occurring i will append the elements and because i have taken my frequency which is my ordered map so i know everything is sorted for this the complexity because of using because you because you are using a ordered map it will be o of n log n because you are putting all the n elements in your map and then iterating on the array to again take a o of m time considering my array size array 2 is o of m and thus my total time is o of n log n plus m and then space is o of n now the interviewer asks you ask you to optimize it we have seen such kind of problems when you have to optimize the sorting part and very basic stuff that we still again there's a big hint that you still need the frequency for sure we have our counting sort which comes in picture now if you don't know that you can just go and exactly see what counting sort is by this video i'll link it down in description but counting sort is applicable where your highest element value is less because this highest element value act as an index so again if you don't know what counting sort is just go and watch this video now coming on back we realize that we can instead use a hash like we can make a vector in which index represent our frequency of element so it will work as both our hash map also because i know okay one is occurring one like my two is occurring thrice three is occurring twice four is occurring once and so on and so forth and i can also iterate in this order of elements which will uh, which will tell me that okay my element six then element seven so element i will go on in the sorted order again for sure element six will have frequency of zero element seven will have frequency of one so seven is occurring now coming on back uh we will simply say okay array one array two again same the exact same frequency i have gathered now frequency earlier case i was making in hash map or i can say in my map now i will put it in my array which i have made but again array size is determined by the maximum element for me the maximum element was a 19 so array size is determined by the maximum element that's the reason my array size is 19 now uh, i simply do exact same stuff exact same stuff it's just that now you have to iterate on this array of a size 19 cool let's say the code is exactly same uh, exactly same it's just that first i grab the maximum element just to make an my actual frequency frequency vector which i have made i will make it in comp in respect to my maximum element maximum element plus one then again exact same making the frequency iterating on my ans array two exact same you will see then iterating on my entire indexes in my uh, in my frequency array which i have made because that will actually contain the frequencies so I went on to the end all the indexes from zero to the element and then I get the frequency exact same code again and ultimately get the, get the answer. So instead of sorting, I actually again, I iterated on my array one, I did on my array two and this is the portion where you iterated on the up to the maximum element which is k determines your maximum element. Again, you could use your count, counting sort of count sort only and only when your maximum element is less if it is high if it, it would have been let's say um like 1e8 e or 1e9 e usually it happens you could you cannot make an array this big for sure so only then you can use it and thus the complexity is this much although uh more or less i never recommend using using counting sort apart from in interviews in a contest and stuff you can always use a normal hash map or map that's more than sufficient and that's more than good and it Oh, like usually if you see that if you run this code it will run faster on lead code give less uh run time but i think the test case are not that much designed that it covers every portion and usually when k becomes big it is always worst way to actually go and sort the elements cool bye bye take care i hope you got it and again 45k bye bye take care